Have you ever had your food taken from you? Just straight off your plate? Maybe a girlfriend or boyfriend or family member came and took a fry or an unnecessarily large bite of your food. I got an interesting story for the homies today. <laughs> what is up guys? This is your favorite black guy, Ray Too Much. And I don't know about you, but I love food. My favorite personally is french fries. I could honestly eat those things all day. But anyway, I was low on my food supply. And in the apocalypse, that's just never good. So I went to the grocery store. I know if I just ordered my groceries online and had them delivered like the rest of my family, I wouldn't have had to deal with this. But I don't know. I just feel like that's a little bit too lazy. Like sometimes I'd be too lazy to go to McDonald's. But I feel like if you're being too lazy to go get your own groceries it's kind of like a step too far like you're gonna have some random person bring all your heavy ass groceries into your house like i don't i'm sorry i'm getting off topic anyway i went to the grocery store and did shopping like a normal human being i spent the entire day doing tests and exams and shit like that so i bought some fried chicken from the deli area so i could just get home and have dinner without having to cook anything so i take my shit outside and i start putting it in my car and then this creepy ass dude comes up out of nowhere at this point i'm worried just because i don't like to park next to people because i don't want to hit they shit and i don't need them hitting my shit so i'm worried if he comes over he's gonna like take my skin or something and no one's gonna see it anyway dude comes over and he's all like that's a that's a very nice mask you got there where'd you get it at the time i was wearing like my light up mask because i'm like part moth or something and i have this weird addiction to cool lights i say thank you and i hope that that was the end of it but then he tells me that he couldn't afford to eat anything and he asked me if i could spare him any food or money now i'm sitting here looking at my big cart full of food and i can't tell him no because like i didn't want to be mean and i don't want to lie to him and be like i don't have food because dude could literally see the big ass cart of food i have so i'm like i don't have any cash but i can give you some apples and he was cool with the apples so i was like all right bet i'm over here looking for the apples and shit and as i'm looking he goes mm, that's a that's a nice smell right there uh is that fried chicken i was i was i was too quick bro i'm not even gonna lie i moved my chicken so quick i was like yeah that fried chicken's for me <laughs> I keep looking for the apples though, but it's dark as Shaq's neck outside, so I couldn't find them. Then he's all like, would you mind if I took the chicken? I looked this man up and down, bro. He was just some creepy old white dude, but his clothes were looking pretty nice, dude. He looked like he was just like, he just threw on some clothes and he just like went out for a nice little walk on top of that dude looked like he was at least seven months pregnant like he could be the his water could break at any time so basically what i'm saying is you know he like he'd be okay if he missed a meal or two you know so i'm like no you can't have any of my chicken and i could tell you to try to find the apples but then this motherfucker takes my chicken and he just takes off running into the night. To my surprise, dude was big, but he took like track in high school or something because my man's was gone. And I was gonna chase him, but I had these all white shoes on and I was already mad because I had scuffed him in the store. So there was no way in hell I was about to chase this man over some $7 chicken, you know? So I just took the L and walked back into the store and ordered more. I didn't really think chasing him was really worth it because if you just like out in the parking lot stealing food out of people's carts, like just stealing, you're, you're a grown ass man and you just out here stealing fucking food from, you know, random 20 year olds just taking food out their carts and shit. Like, you gotta be down bad bro so like when he took it i was low-key just sitting there like you know maybe maybe he needed more to me you know i will say that if we were near my house or at any area where more chicken wasn't easily accessible 
I would have chased his big ass down. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed the story, then go ahead and smack the like and subscribe button on the ass. Also, if you like this one, I'm sure you'll like all the other ones. There's hella stories on the channel. Uh, if you look in the description, I have a couple down there. Or you can look at the playlist. It's going to be at the end card. Uh, find yourself another story. If you know you're bored, got nothing else to do. Also, there is a discord we have a discord now it's pretty empty so we definitely want some more homies up in there it's the homie haven that's going to be linked down in the description as well also my instagram and twitter are down there so if you want to follow me on anything like that it's all down there brother okay anyways i think that's going to be it for this one guys so i guess i will see you next time peace